Welcome to the TechView.com. Professor Emeritus Jean Grossholtz has lived through many decades of technological change. If after watching this interview you'd like to know more about her, check out her Wikipedia profile. You have long been a political activist committed to social justice. Since so much of your political activism takes place on a global scale, how has the World Wide Web impacted your work? Oh, it has made an enormous difference. It's enormous. We are now in contact with each other daily. Uh, we, we sort things out around. We can organize activities and organize together. So if something happens here, for example, uh, the questions about the, uh, the new, the, the Obama's uh, designated Department of Agriculture, Secretary of Agriculture, when that started, when that came up, uh, we had we were in contact with everybody because agriculture and food security is a big issue, uh, and it, of course it's connected to environment and stuff too. So that was a big issue, and it put us all together in a kind of global network to try to try to do something to get that guy uh, out of there, or to give Obama some ideas about what we were so opposed to. And um, as a result, some of the big leading figures in, in agriculture, like Michael Pollan and some of those people, got together and made a list of 10 people they thought should be put into the Department of Agriculture to calm down or to, to reduce the impact, impact of those things. So uh, that happened just like that, just overnight, you know, the things that, uh, that we do. So it, it not only connects us better, faster, and cheaper, it makes it possible for us to be connected even though we are not physically in contact with each other. But beyond that, it reaches out to a whole lot of different groups now because almost everybody is on internet. So I can talk to uh, my friend uh, uh, Claudia, who's in um, Colombia, and to the people that she works with, the women that she works with, and to uh, women like uh, uh, Anna Georgie in Germany and people she works with in Vandana Shiva in India, all of us are connected. So when Vandana talks to a group of, of uh, uh, agricultural women, women in agriculture from the mountains uh, near her, her school, she can pass that information off to me and I can also uh, see what they're up to and what they're doing so that when I talk to women from uh, Colombia, we can share this back and so it really is. It opens up. It opens up a better, a more, a more, uh, a faster, a better, a more direct communication. Number one. Number two. It allows us to comment and and um, and and work together. So if I write a paper, it's not my paper anymore. It's got all these. I send it to other people. They say what they think about it. It becomes a a document. You know, in our in our struggle to understand it to move us forward. So that's better. And then, of course, it does reach down and reach in different places. Not as much as we would like, but some. As a former student of yours, I remember you as someone whose sense of the now was very immediate, especially as it relates to social justice. As a consumer of new media, uh, for example, Facebook, does having an online presence or identity heighten your sense of the now? It's kind of a funny question. I, I, I am on Facebook because people ask me to be on it. I don't use it as much as I should because I don't understand it. I, I would, if I were doing, if I were using it correctly, I would probably overwhelm people with the political stuff I'm working on and the issues I'm working on. And I don't think that's what Facebook is for. Facebook is much more about uh, social life and staying in contact with people, and that's not my way of doing it. Um, so I'm not, I, I don't use that as much as I, I should. I, I use the internet. I, I have constant con communication with my friends and people on uh -huh. the internet as email. But the Facebook doesn't really, doesn't really grab me. It's a way to find out what everybody's doing. Kind of. Right. But I rarely write on it. I have a, I have a strong objection, objection to, uh, what do you call those things, journals. And most of the people who blog, they write these journals, and they drive me crazy. 
I got up this morning and my dog ate a, ate a squirrel and I've been all day worried about it. And, oh, the world is so wonderful or the world is so bad. I get tired of that. You know, live your life. Don't drag me into it. Yeah. Sounds like a good, good philosophy. Yeah. So I don't think, um, I, I really am in the now in terms of being, I am so completely and totally committed to trying to make the world a just and, and an equal place. 